What's up? I have an A1709 iPad Pro here, and supposedly there's a backlight issue. Um, I'm going to see if I can get the Apple logo to so I can reboot this mother. Oh, okay. You can tell it's on. Now I'm rebooting it. Let's see if we can get the Apple logo. Can you see the Apple logo? I can't really see it. There it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you got to trust me that there's an Apple logo there. Um, no, you can't see it. I don't know what to tell you. How about like this? No? How about I go like this? Nope, that's no good. Anyways, trust me, there's an Apple logo there. So backlight is dead. We're going to see if we can fix the backlight. And uh, we're going to go from there, alright? Alright, let's see what you guys can see. This is kind of a pain in the arse. This is a real pain in the butt, dude. Uh, first off, let's disconnect the battery because it's a nightmare. I got my capital shirt on. Well, this is not even the right screw for this battery, is it? I don't think so, my friend. Somebody put the wrong screw in. Yeah, that's the wrong screw, so we're gonna, we gotta fix that. So let's isolate the battery. Let's isolate the battery. Okay, so we got this little tool here. I'm going to try to isolate the battery without damaging anything. Right, let's get this other one. Okay. Battery's isolated, so let's go ahead and uh, move the screen now. You guys didn't see this or no? Can't see it? Oh, alright. This is a pain in the butt, whoever designed this. So, let's go under a microscope and take a look. Alright, so I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to my feet here, but, uh... I guess everything, else, everything that I recorded on a microscope was no good. But, so, we, there are no schematics for these things. We have no idea what's going on here. Um, one thing I noticed was there was a capacitor here that was dislodged, which I put back. Uh, I don't think, that may have something to do with the, the uh, backlight, but that's not going to cause the backlight to go bad. So, there's nothing else. I checked everything else. Everything else was good over here. And then I went over here and looked, and there was actually two diodes that were bl definitely blown. And I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're uh, backlight diodes, but they're definitely blown. Backlight definitely doesn't work, so I'm assuming they are. And in terms of this diode here, I just put another one back. Um, I bought these for the iPad Pro, which were a little bit too big, but they seem to work well with with this with this version of the iPad. So I'm just going to use it. Uh, I don't know if I have it listed on this on our site or not, but. But uh, I just looked at the specs of, I think, maybe the iPad, whatever schematics we have, and then just tried to find a diode with similar specs in, uh, in DigiKey. So that's the diode we're using. I don't remember the exact specs, nor do I have any anything on it. But I don't even think, so I guess I can probably list this for the iPad Pro, since this actually does fit well. So... Anyways, we're going to replace both diodes here, and, and hopefully the backlight works again. But, you know, that's the only thing I really saw that was kind of wrong with it, so I'm assuming that once I replace this, then it, we should be good, I think. Right. 
so that's good. All right, so that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So I think we're good here. Uh, let's clean it up a little bit and let's let's fire it up and test it. I mean, these are either backlight diodes or touch diodes, and since the backlight doesn't work, I'm assuming it's probably the backlight diode. And they were definitely both blown to pieces. And this almost always happens because the battery is not isolated when disconnected. Alright, so make sure you definitely... I oh! <laughs> Just as I say that, this battery is disconnected again. Okay, so let's put the screen back and let's see if it works. Alright, so I don't know why my thing keeps dying here. My video keeps dying here. Anyways, I've already booted it up and uh, the backlight is on, obviously. Um, and... As you can see here, I'm just going to drag an icon down the screen here, and all is good. So, I think we're back in business here. So, it was two, two blown diodes, which is weird. You only see two filters that are blown versus diodes, so I don't know what happened. But I think probably just the guy failed to disconnect the battery, isolate the battery before messing with the screen. So, it's a little bit difficult to isolate the battery with these things. But, you should always do that. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay to get the backlight repaired. All right? Uh, so everything is good. Um, let's t let's touch the touch ID here, and then I think this guy's I think this guy's back in business. Yeah, touch ID is working, no problems. Um, touch is working, obviously. Uh, charge is good. Can you see that? Charge is good. Okay. Uh, that's it, really. Um, buttons. Volume buttons are good. Power button is golden. So that's it. We're going to send this back. Call it a day. Alright, thanks for watching. So if you're interested in learning how to do this repair or just learning more about micro soldering in general, you can go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then scroll down to the full curriculum here. This is our online course. You can do everything from the comfort of your own home or office. Click on buy at Udemy. We host our course at Udemy. There's three and a half hours of content and we're adding to it every few weeks or so. And we cover everything from the basic building blocks of an iPhone logic board to how to use the XW tools to three of the most common iPhone problems which is touch IC disease, uh, no backlight and no power and then we go all the way down to data recovery so it's three and a half hours long and if you want to get a preview of some of the content in the course just click on this uh, play button up here at the top right and you can scroll down here and you can see we have a bunch of different sample videos and these are directly from the course so any questions just email support at microsolder.com thank you